Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Well, except for today, because this channel has just hit an incredible 40,000 of you amazing subscribers, and so we simply must celebrate by showcasing some more of your best channel comments. Enjoy! And to commence this round of utter madness, we have the wonderful Joy Rodriguez. Tag, you're it, dashes away. And damn, ugh, now I'm it. This, this isn't good news at all. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and tag the very next featured commenter, who in this case is Eno at Max, who happens to have a complaint regarding the live action One Piece video I made. Namis Bikini is too big. In the manga and anime, it doesn't cover the whole mass. There should be both under and side boob visible. You know, I guess Eno isn't wrong. Generally quite a bit of, how shall I put this, surface area is on display with a 2D Nami. However, I do find it quite interesting that that is the problem rather than say, I don't know, Chopper. Ah, well, you'll have priorities, I guess. Like Stefan Bergung here, whose priority seems to be to complain about my definition of weight and mass for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia video on the Kilo Kilo no Mi. First you say it can just wait, not mass, and then you name applications which require a cange of mass. And in my defense, I never said anything canges anything, but to be fair, I did name quite a few applications. So you know what, I'll, I'll give Stefan that. But now we move to Blackout Daimo, who appears to have made quite a series of mistakes in life. So I stumbled upon your page about two years ago looking for something else. That had to be my most favorite mistake next to my firstborn. Keep up the good work, my friend. And first of all, <laughs> shucks, Blackout Dymo. But my favorite part of that is that you stumbling upon to the Grand Line review page is equal to that of your firstborn. So either I should be exceptionally honored or uh, uh, your firstborn is a bit of a disappointment. For the sake of optimism, I'm going to go with the former. But speaking of disappointment, that doesn't even begin to sum up my feelings in regards to Relida Coward's use of the English language after they appear to have gone gotten a tiny bit upset watching my top five best devil fruit video. Oi, idiot, you forgot Pika Pika no me. Don't be so sure what you're talking about. And really this entire statement just makes me wonder if Relida was taking their own advice there at the end, because when one uses a quotation mark instead of an apostrophe, I'm fairly certain they don't be so sure what they're talking about. And now more criticism, yay, from Maria Smith, who rather unfortunately has completely dashed all of my hopes and dreams for the future with her reaction to my top five best Jolly Rogers video. And no, the Whitebeard JR does not look like a traditional JR. Not to mention that WB doesn't have a mustache and you suck as a JR appraiser. And well, yeah, look, I've made the mistake of pissing off Maria Smith, who is like the biggest name in the entire JR appraisal industry. So I guess I'll just have to try and make this YouTube business work then. God damn it. I really wanted to be a JR appraiser. But to take my mind off that, here we have K4S51, open bracket, Dan, close bracket, a name that was never made to be said by human tongue, with an opinion regarding Punk Hazard. I know many people hate Punk Hazard, but, and that's a very big but, I personally enjoy it. And I think I know exactly which but you enjoy, Dan. So as a special treat to you, here he is, in all his glory. Moving on, I recently did a video on one of my favorite comedic characters in the series, Gadatsu, and she, Shane, quite rightfully reminded me that Gadatsu doesn't quite stand out as clearly in everyone's mind as he does in mine. I thought that guy's name was Swamp Monk. Lamau. Ah, yes, good old Swamp Monk. Such a, such a classic character. But now we have General Yusuf, who has a comment regarding some of the, well, comments on this channel. This man Zoro fandom is worse than his sense of direction. To which Adolf Hitler responded, not worse than your English. And uh, oh, wow. You know, it's a pretty bad day when you're being smacked down by Hitler. But let's put that aside for now because it's time for the Sharpe of the week, featuring special guest Elvos Prisley. And this week we have a mighty three, count them three Sharpe puppies to feature by the names of Matthew Craig and Stormageddon, Dark Lord of All. But Elvos Prisley, what do you think of these delightful puppies? Looks like your mom ball sack. And oh, wow, Stormageddon is, is not going to like that. May the Sharpe gods have mercy on your doomed soul. But now it's time to get down to business. Last time you were all posed a very important inquiry from Annie Hotch South. And that question was, if Crocodile bites himself while eating food, does he get a mouthful of sand? And Annie, we appear to have our answers. First up, we have a rather logical take from Fabio Reale. I would assume Crocodile's mouth would be wet with spit. Therefore, no sand, only sad. Ah, oh, poor crocodile. I mean, no sand, only sad is a great name for his autobiography though. I mean, with the amount of times his plans crumble right in front of him and JC Knott isn't about to let Crocodile forget about his failures either. 
From Crocodile's fight with Luffy, we can clearly see that he doesn't need to be at a dinner table in order to bite the dust. And uh, oh, well, damn, snap. I'm starting to feel pretty bad for the guy, actually. But we're going to delve deeper, and for that, I now present the ramblings of Kumasama. Yes, Crocodile would get a mouthful of sand, but there are harder questions regarding Crocodile. One such question is, would you want to go to the beach with Crocodile? The answer to that is no because it contains a secret that only Evenkov knows. What happened is Crocodile used to be a naughty boy and would pretend to be sand on a beach and then insert himself up people's swim trunks and swim wear. Ever had a crotch full of sand? Imagine it with a hook coming out at you. A lot of people think the secret Evenkov knows about Crocodile is that he used to be a woman, but what is actually true is that Crocodile used to be a pervert. And a suave guy like Crocodile can't have people knowing of his pervy past. And well, look, the whole world knows about your pervy past now, Crocodile. Well, uh -huh. But you can exact your revenge upon Kumasama rather than me, ideally. And finally, we have a very simple answer from the very simple Android 16. He only eats sand. Witches. Ah, I see what you did there, droid. But with that, we are going to call this question answered, maybe, I guess, and move on to our next curious inquiry, which this time comes from Madmaster001. Best channel comments question number 21. If you could invite one of the Straw Hats for dinner, who would you pick? A surprisingly wholesome question there for this series, and I look forward to seeing your answers. But that pretty much does it for this edition of the Best Channel Comments. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.